गुड मॉर्निंग संडे फॉर प्रोफेसी अप्रैल सेवेंटीन टू 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 आई ओ प्रोफेसर प्रेइन फ्लोरिडा मियामी आई नी वेनेस्डे मॉर्निंग थ्री एम of April 20, 2020, see shooting a pranger sim. Developing right now at noon, there's a search ongoing for a shooter after a triple shooting in Miami. One man was killed in the drive-by, and Local 10 News reporter Trent Kelly is live on the scene with the latest. Trent. Well, Janice and Christy, it has been some eight hours plus now since this incident first happened, and yet you can still see uh, police officers here at the scene. All of this, the end result of what detectives have described as a potential drive-by shooting. Now, one person is dead and two others are still in the hospital this afternoon. Miami police investigating a deadly drive-by shooting in Little Havana overnight. The bullets leaving one man dead and sending two others to the hospital. The two males that were shot were taken to JMH trauma where they are now being treated and they are in critical condition. The triple shooting happening around 3.30 this morning. That's when officers initially responded to a shot spotter gunfire detection alert near the corner of Flagler Street and West 8th Avenue. When officers got to the scene, they observed that one male was possibly deceased on scene and there was a, two other males that had been shot. Paramedics pronounced one victim dead at the scene, his body later covered by a tarp. The two other victims were rushed to rider trauma in critical condition. Throughout the morning, we watched as homicide detectives placed yellow evidence markers near certain items, including a pair of flip-flops and this bicycle. Mire nada, y vengo saliendo mi casa. This woman says she lives near the scene, but didn't hear any commotion overnight. With information still hard to come by, police are now hoping to get some help from the public. At this time, we have no information other than this is a possible drive-by shooting. If anybody knows anything, if anybody has any information that they saw or heard, please contact the city of Miami Police Department. And back out here live, just a short time ago, we did spot some canine detectives arriving here at the scene. At this point, though, neither the names nor the ages of those victims have been released. Police also not able to release any sort of description of that shooter at this point. As soon as we get any more information from them, we'll let you know. For now, we are live here in Miami. Trent Kelly, Local 10 News.